rather big story this evening. It's been a busy week in Detroit, and to cap it all off, hundreds of protesters crammed into City Hall, most of them union members, angry at Governor Rick Snyder and the city's emergency manager. But this was more than just a debate over how to resolve the city's $18 billion deficit. 7 Action News reporter Jim Kurtzner is live at City Hall. And okay, Jim, why this? Why now? Because we're going to start here at the Renson. That's where there's some 800 people in town for a convention with the ASME Union, the American Federation of State, City, and Municipal Employees. Their target right across the street, very easy, City Hall, but it's also where several thousand of their union brothers and sisters are facing real cuts. The group formed at Hart Plaza, conveniently right next door to where their convention is starting today. The crowd then moves across the street to City Hall and inside. Some of the crowd said they wanted to go to the 11th floor where the mayor and emergency manager reside. When they were turned away, they peacefully left and marched around the outside. In a democracy, you have to allow the people to have a voice. And when you hire emergency managers to make decisions for people, that's not allowing people to have a voice. There is plenty of enthusiasm in the crowd. That could be because the people are in town for the convention for the future of the AFSME union. They're under 35 years old. Some dressed as our self-named nerd governor, but obviously do not know him from living here. I heard the governor prides himself on being the toughest nerd, so I guess I guess you know I guess we'll have to have a run for it then because I'm pretty tough too. The crowd went back to the Rensen, we thought because this is home to the headquarters of General Motors. When I asked a union official, that's when I was told, nope, they're going back for their convention. We're live downtown, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News.